In this tutorial, we'll look at how to set up an HTML boilerplate in Visual Studio Code. Okay, so the first step is to simply open up Visual Studio Code. And what you need to do is you can go to File and Open Folder. That's how Visual Studio Code works. So you need to open a folder and that will be your project, basically. Right, so you need to open a folder. Maybe you need to create a new folder. I've already done that here, right? So you can see this is the name of my folder. And right now it's empty, right? So now I'm gonna create a file. So this is gonna be this icon, new file, and we're gonna create an HTML file, right? So typically this is called index.html, press enter here. So why index.html, why this name? Well, this is a bit of a remnant from the past and people have just stuck with this. As long as the extension is .html, um, everything will work. So then I'm gonna close the sidebar again. So what you can do in Visual Studio Code is you can write HTML and it will actually give you some suggestions and this is called Emmet. So Emmet helps us out with writing HTML and also CSS. It's a built-in functionality in Visual Studio Code. And then we want the second option. And if we then press tab, you get an HTML boilerplate, right? So here we can just um, add some space here and then you can change the title, right? Tutorial. You can also link to a CSS file. So I can write link here and Emmet helps us out again because if I then press tab, we get this incomplete link tag and then it asks us where this style sheet is. Well, we haven't created a, a style, style sheet yet. Let's actually do that. Typically this is called style or styles.css, right? Also, you know, a name that people have just, you know, stuck with. You can name it whatever you want. As long as the extension is .css, everything will work. So this would, this would be the file where you write CSS, right? So then here we could link to that. It's in the same folder. So we only have to write style.css. And that's how you would link to your style sheet. Now, what about a JavaScript file? Let's also do that. Well, these days we can actually link to JavaScript in the head as well. So in the past, people would do it at the end of the body because JavaScript typically blocks parsing the rest of the page. Um, but these days we can put it in the head. So we can write script and then it's source. And then this is the, the path to the file, right? So let's say script.js and let's see, we would create a file script.js. And then here is where you would, you would use, here is where you would write JavaScript. It's strange perhaps because we don't use link here, we use script and it actually has a closing tag here. Um, now when you do it in the head, it's, it's a good idea to use defer here because this will prevent it from blocking parsing the rest of the page, right? So it's actually really important that you master the underlying fundamentals of web development. And to be honest, it's mostly CSS and JavaScript. I have courses on them, definitely check them out in, uh, you can find the links in the description. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.